Hey guys, so I got a quick video to show you about um, getting set up or, or basically setting up your Vim on Matrix uh, to be usable with uh, Python development. So most likely um, you already have a file on Matrix in your home uh, called .vimrc. If you are not sure, just use ls-a and you'll see all the hidden files as well. So you can see that I've got uh, vimrc in there. So what I'm going to do is type in vim.vimrc. Um, now I have a bunch of stuff in here already uh, set up for me. Um, I don't know if you do, but if you do, try not to overwrite that because it's probably important. So I'm going to go to the very bottom here and I'm going to check on a couple of things. I'm going to make sure that file type plugin is set to on and file type indent is set to on. Um, then I'm going to add some more lines. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, set number. Okay. So these are sort of equivalent to um, command options that you can type in into Vim at any time. So for example, if I'm in normal Vim working on a normal file or something like that, um, I can hit the colon and I can type in something like set number. And what it'll do is turn line numbers on. Okay. So everything in your dot Vim RC file is basically sort of setting up configuration for each file that you open. Um, I always want my number line numbers to be turned on. So I'm going to make sure that that's turned on. I'm also going to make sure that syntax is set to enable because this is syntax highlighting. This means some stuff like uh, keywords in Python are going to be in a different color so I can easily read what's going on. Um, you should have this set by default anyway, but if you don't, this is a good way to set it up. So now one thing I'm going to do is just set it up so that um, any file that is recognized as a Python file is going to have some sort of um, some default uh, thing set up for it. So what this basically will do is um, set configuration for specific file types. So anything that ends in .py is going to be understood to be a Python file and it should have uh, these configurations set for it. So what I'm going to do is type in auto CMD and the file type. So notice that is a uppercase F. Um, you should see your, your syntax changing um, as you go. So if it's green, it's good. Oh, it looks like lowercase F will work too, hopefully. Anyway, I'm just going to keep it uppercase because I want to make sure that this works the first time around. I'm going to specify Python files and I'm going to say set local. And now I'm just going to type in a bunch of stuff. Soft tab stop equals four. Tab stop equals four. Shift width equals four expand tab auto indent okay so there's a lot of things going on here um, if you're really interested you can go and um, type in something like I don't know help tab stop and you'll get some a little bit of an explanation about what's going on here uh, I'm not gonna go too deep, too deep into it um, for the most part, I'm just grabbing these like, you know, um, suggestions off the internet. So it's been working for me so far. That's totally fine. Um, so this is setting up basically, uh, some important things in Python. We, when we indent things, when we indent our code, we always want to make sure that those are going to be, um, soft tabs, not hard tabs. A hard tab is kind of like if you're hitting um, slash T. And a soft tab is kind of like if you're hitting the space bar four times. Python is kind of particular. It's looking for four spaces as an indent. It's not looking for hard tabs. It's looking for soft tabs. Okay. So um, basically in this configuration, hopefully what we'll see is when we hit the tab key, 
what we're actually going to be replacing that with is four spaces. So I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And um, let's go ahead and create like test.py. We'll see what happens. Um, so this is a Python script. Let me just add the uh, shebang over here. So that's gonna be user. I'm gonna get this wrong. I'm going to just quickly check on this, guys. I'll be right back. Yes, okay, I was getting it right. User bin slash environment, and I wanna make sure that I'm specifying Python 3. Okay, and so if I just do something like this, I'm gonna type in def, hello, and put in these, and go over here. So you'll notice already, um, it has indented this for me automatically, so I don't have to keep indenting everything after this function. So after this, I can add a doc string, and then I can go over here and I can say, let's say, if um, num is less than seven, then we're gonna do something after this, we can print hello. And I gotta make sure that I'm doing this right. So it's not Python 2, it's Python 3. So let's go back over here and put in some round brackets instead of just a string. Okay, so you can see um, I am not hitting tab to indent these things. This is indented for me. And you'll notice if I go, so if I'm starting at the beginning of the line over here, um, so the def is going to start on character one, and if I count up one, two, three, four, and then we start. So this is correct formatting for Python. If you add these lines into your vimrc file, this is going to be set up for you.